Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms 5. Today we're in the TF Tower System S, and I wonder whose tower this is, and who will be fighting at the top? Well, oh, it's Carol's Tower. Great, my favorite character. Can't wait for all this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, wouldn't help him at all, because you're completely useless! Um, yeah, and he's really strong, too. Oh! Okay, well, what's wrong with that? So why don't you go to him and let him take care of you? You know, you're still, like, you know, a little kid, and you need a parent, you know, somebody to take care of you. Or Greg to take care of you, but... Uh, Greg's all mine. Back off, Carol! <laughs> oh! Yeah, that's true. You were uh, abandoned by your parents, and I can totally understand why, because you're completely annoying. Oh, well, how'd you hold the professor back? I thought that you were pretty smart and you would, you know, help him out. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that kind of makes sense. So, you don't want to hinder him, but you have no problems hindering us. Um, she hasn't really explained much of anything to us. Every time that we ask her to explain something, she's like, I'll tell you later. I think it's better if you find it by yourself. She never tells us anything. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Kind of the same thing here. The harder that you try, the more you get in our way, too. Pain in the ass. Oh. Okay, well, sounds familiar. Yeah. Same old, same old, you're just stuck in that rut. Oh! Okay. So, why don't you break the vicious cycle from us and leave us and become independent from our group as well? That would be really nice. Bye, Carol. See ya. Sayonara. Adios. Ugh. Yeah, so we have Carol and her individual fight. Uh, going up this tower against the Professor, as we all know. Anyway, let's see what uh, kind of monsters we have going on here. Okay. Uh, weak to fire. These guys are weak to wind. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'll just put you, you know, put you in here. And just blast, I don't know, that one. Let's see, they're not weak to water or anything. I could just attack. Oh, you have the wind hex. Well, then you know what? Let's just kill you. You still get a double blast on the, um... Even one if you're not on a lay point, it's really nice. I blast you out, kill you, and I just kill you. Yeah, so I can kill you. Not, it really doesn't even matter at this point anymore. There we go. Use another blast on this guy and take him out. Woohoo! Well, that wraps that up. Look at that experience! 18,000 experience just from a random battle. It's so good. Yet, bosses still give you, like, pittance. It's kind of ridiculous. Anyway, just go up these stairs. Oh, what do we have here? Let's see. We've already seen them. Oh, Mollusk here. Fatal to fire. Hey. And these guys are also weak to fire. And you are on the fire hex. Where's Bray? Oh, way over there, of course. So we need to do something about that. Um, just... Can you kill him? At least make it so that Grain can get through? Uh, oh well, let's see. Uh, whoever you touch, you'll kill too. So go ahead and kill that one. And yeah, these guys have these guys have like no defense power. Even Avril's like kicking their ass with just a regular hit. So that's pretty nice. Ooh. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Don't waste your time. Okay, so I'm sure that that's probably it for the random encounters. Got those out of the way pretty fast. One thing that I did do was I customized Dean's and Avril's medium to give Avril the rare steel ability and to give Dean the hyper ability. The rare steel ability, if you've looked and noticed as you analyze enemies that um, they have two things to steal, the second thing to steal is their rare steel. And the, um, let's see, why can't I get that one? Ah, I just had it. Come on, there we go. Um, so anyway, the second thing to steal is their rare steal, the first thing to steal is their common steal. You need to be at level 90 to get those naturally, but they're in the, you know, early 80s, so I figured I'd just go ahead and grab them, uh, just by, you know, lowering my HP and MP just a 
cad, so it's not that big of a deal. The hyper, you've probably seen bosses use it. It raises um, the character's attack and magic, so it's pretty nice. Um, and that'll come in really handy during various boss fights and whoa! things like that. Let's try this again. Go. Awesome. Sweet. Hey, hey! I made it. Uh, only two times that time. Well, that's pretty good. The Muse Amulet there. Not that I'm going to be using it, but it's there. Oh, look at all this. Okay. Well, we're going to be going back to this room quite a bit, viewers. So keep this room in mind, because I will be cutting to it um, on many different occasions. Because there's a lot of different doors that we can go out. But for right now, there's only one door that we can go out, which is that southern door. But there's also a door to the east and the north that we'll be going out. Uh, eventually, this episode at least. So, yeah, we'll be going back to it. Anyway, go here, and is there treasures on the bottom? I don't think so. No, okay. And just climb on up. We don't have much to climb, which is really nice. And in here, we want to head to the right. There we go. Uh-oh. Well, at least we don't get the boss time while we're climbing upstairs. We get it in a different room, a little rivery room, so that's nice. A little bit different. Okay, let's see again. these guys we've got here. Uh, they can steal a hit apple, which is nice, and they're both weak to fire! Okay, so we don't have a fire hex, uh, but I'll take care of that soon enough. Don't even worry about it. Anyway, steal from this guy, get a hit apple. Awesome. And let's do a break down here, start a double blast of these guys. Something, at least. Oh, it might even be better just to use a fire apple, or a fire gem, uh, I should say. They, uh... Regular attacks aren't doing that much damage to this guy. Huh. Anyway, have everyone head back over here. And in the meantime, she can... I don't know, fragile this guy. That's something to do. Ooh. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's try that to see if it's any better. I have so many high fire gems anyway. Yeah, that's a lot better. I was doing about 4,000 doubling it. But that way I dealt roughly... What was it? About 7,000? Hopefully this will take him out. Oh, he was close enough. Anyway, let's steal from him as well. There we go. Sweet! Can you just, like, kill him? Just, just blast him, do something. There we go. Awesome. And now let's turn our attention over towards this guy. And start attacking him as well. But I want to move Avril down here. Let's fragile him as well. Because in the Earth Hex over there is where we can um, get a treasure. It would be an attack apple if I actually remember to stay on the Hex. But what I want to do here is lay change this Wind Hex, and that will turn it into a Fire Hex. So I can really deal tons of damage. So I frazzled him. Let's slow him down. Something you can do. And, yeah, let's start firing the crap out of this guy so he leaves Heavy Crush. But you know what, actually? Um... Yeah, just use the Heavy Crush. I was going to use a Hyper, but this guy doesn't have enough HP to really deal with the Hyper because Greg's going to kill him right now. Whoa, look at that damage! Hey, awesome. Sweet! Got my Attack Apple. I actually remembered this time. Man, who knew? Normally I always forget to get those attack apples. Yeah, I only got 23,000 experience for that, uh, battle. And for regular ones, getting about 18,000. Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's true. They certainly did. Uh, like what, Chuck? So, what should it be used for? Please, do tell us! Oh, to help people. Sure. Yeah, that's true, I guess. I love how this is Carol's tower. This is her dungeon. All the cutscenes should be about her. And there was a t and there was a cutscene in her own tower that didn't include her at all. <laughs> Even the game knows how useless she is. I love it. Anyway, go back here. Get some gore vibes. Awesome. 
and here it's a little bit different what we have. If you look at the ceiling, you can see uh, how we have to arrange these blocks. So let's go ahead and get started. We want to move this one this way. It's also, it's not only is it on the ceiling, but it's also kind of on the sides as well. So you can see it, you know, two different ways of how these blocks need to be um, properly lined up. But you know what? I gotta move that one over. So, okay, I'll do this. So let's move that one that way. This one here. Then push this one down. Yeah, over. Come on, over. And up. There we go. Then we just gotta push this one. Come on. I probably should center my camera so that it's facing due north, but it seems like every time I do that, it um, kind of screws up. When I say that it screws up, all I mean is that the, um, like, it's not like the game screws up or anything. It's like the camera has like a mind of its own and it just does what it does, I guess. Anyway, um, as far as where that door opened up, it's not that one, but it's on the other side of this room. It's that door right over here. So I probably should have cut to it, but eh, it's right there. Whatever, I'm not going to worry about it. Go in here and continue on our way. I know that there's one of these rooms with this treasure on the bottom, but I don't think it's that one. Let me just double check. Oh, gems. Okay, do not care. Okay, in here, let's go check out and see what we got going on. Let's see. Land of red and white lies separated by vast river. Okay. Oh. Okay. So, what you want to do is the the little I don't know white glowy orb thing closest to the plaque. Make that one red. All the rest of them, except for the one completely opposite from that plaque, you will make blue. That's your vast river. Let's see, there you go. Go ahead and get, um, not that one. Let's see, that one. And that one. And that's it. Woohoo! What's going on? Oh, whoa! Yeah, way back in area four. So, like I said, we're going to be coming back to that room quite a bit. In fact, we're going to be going back there right now. Yeah. And I would cut to the room, but there's a scene. So I'll do the little scene thing, and then I'll cut to the room afterwards. Because as we know, Carol's oh so important. Oh, what's that? Yeah. Hurt her! Make her run away! Make her cry! <laughs> uh, yeah, she was. Oh, yeah, that's true. You are running from the past. But you're trying to change your future, I guess. Um, either that or killing the professor. That would work, too. Oh, yeah, that's true. But, I mean, she is still young. I mean, the professor's been doing this for, like, 40-something years, and she's, what, 12, I think? Yeah, more than likely. Yeah, probably. She does seem like the type to worry a lot about stuff that's really insignificant and really doesn't matter. Kind of like her. <laughs> yeah, you should let the professor take care of you. Leave our group, go to him, and let him take care of you. I am sick of you tagging along. Like, what doesn't Carol get about this? There have been so many times that the group has told Carol how useless she is, how much they can't stand her, I can't stand her too, and they're always like giving her like little hints, dropping little hints like, hey, maybe you should just go, you know, stay in town. That was like back in Honey's Day, I believe, that they were just kind of like, oh, just stay in town, it'll be fine. And now they're like, oh, just, you know, let the professor take care of you, it'll be fine. And, uh... Carol just doesn't get it. She still hangs around like the leech that she is. Ugh. But now she's gonna make Dean take care of you. Okay. I think that the professor could do a better job. But, sure, whatever. Gross! Gross, Rebecca! Gross! I just decided to go ahead and cut back to, uh... 
Area 4 after that decidedly disgusting scene, and of course, Rebecca being as selfish as humanly possible. There's Carol having like some sort of existential crisis about, you know, should she leave the professor? Should she take the professor in as like a father figure? You know, let him adopt her? Should she stay with the group and have Dean take care of her? She's really kind of struggling with these questions. And then there's Rebecca saying, oh, you're my rival. Like, ugh. Like, get over yourself, Rebecca. It's not all about you. You know, ugh. Like, I thought that we were done with Rebecca and her bullcrap after last time's tower, but no. We have more of her shit to put up with. Lucky us. Okay, go over, over there, get the dragon puzzle, and here we have another one of these little puzzles that we have to do, but this time it's a bit more complicated because there's nothing on the ceiling, unfortunately, and, uh, whoa, damn it, and we have to deal with a, um, what is it, like a, like a two-story block, I guess, you know? Anyway, what you want to do, first things first, is push that over here so that we can bring this second-story block that way. Now we need to bring these guys this way. Let's see. There we go. And don't push them off the edge like I did, because I'm a moron. Yeah. Just, you know, do as I say, not as I do, viewers. In the infamous world words of uh, Phil Collins. Anyway, I think that that's it. There we go. Awesome! Hmm, where could it possibly come from? Well, let's head out here and find out. Okay, so out we go. We're in here, and it looks like there's a new exit right over here. So let's take it, and away we go. Okay, and he, yeah, this is what I was, I kept on knowing that, I knew that there was a treasure somewhere in the bottom of one of these pole rooms, and I didn't want to miss it. Because I've already missed one treasure in one Wild Arms game before. I'm still upset about that. And you know what? Nobody has ever told me and come back and be like, Hey, I found the treasure that you missed. And like, you know, just left a comment, even though I asked for comments about it. But nobody ever did. So I don't know where the hell that freaking treasure is. Pain in my ass. Okay, so here we have another little puzzle. So first things first, what you want to do is go ahead and get this treasure. Just shoot it with a bullet. You get duplicators. Then put on your power shot. And facing the treasure, you want to hit this one south. Then you want to hit this one west. You can target it. There we go. Then this one south. Awesome. Which opens up that door. But we first have some soul nigers that we need to take care of. So let's do that. Yeah, let's go. And again, this is going to take quite some time, so I think I'm probably just going to end up fast forwarding and ending the video after the Soul Nigers. The towers are so formulaic, so I figured hey, I'll make my videos formulaic too. Anyway, these guys are all weak to fire! And there's the fire hex, so that's the first guy that we need to take care of. Let's try our new rare steel, see what we can't find. Nothing! Of course. Anyway. <laughs> Let's do some uh, dual blasting on the Earth Hex here. 14,000 damage! Hey, hey, awesome. Go ahead and blast him with that critical hit. Bam! Yeah, we're, we're really putting these guys down. I really want your rare steel. Woohoo! Got the four revive. Those will come in handy for some, like, mega bosses, so I want to get as many of those as I possibly can, because you can't buy them, and they are difficult to come by. So here I can steal three of them, and I totally will. This is the main reason why I wanted to make sure that I was able to, um, to, uh, to get that rare steal. Okay, awesome. So now I got the fire hex to myself, so I'll put Avril in it, just in case these assholes decide to, like, you know, take it over for themselves. This way they can't. Man! She's really, like, sucking at, um, you know, getting these guys steals. Ah! Can you block it twice? Oh, good. Um, come on. Let's do another steal. They're really not doing anything to me, are they? Okay, so anyway, uh, let's see. Oh, well, they're weak to fire, too, so why not? We'll go in here, we'll use the, um, what is it, the, uh, hyper. Get everybody's attack up, especially Greg's, if you come to here to blast these guys. And they're like, they're not doing shit to you. Anyway, also, the, um, the hex that we want to be in to get our Mega Berry, which is our treasure of this battle, is the hex from the Soul Niger. I'll just go to this hex. So that's the hex that we all want to be in. 
um, towards the end, and I'll probably just stick Avril in there, because she's not really doing much of anything besides stealing. Whoa! And let's see, did we kill you, and then focus on the next one, and, um, yeah, so that's all we gotta do. And I was gonna fast forward, but we only have one left, and seriously? Come on! Come on! You could do better than that, Avril. Maybe I should actually switch and have Rebecca be the thief, since she does have a higher hit stat, and your hit stat is, to, is you know, it says how well you steal, and um, then have Avril be our, be our healer. You know, Dean. But I just, I just hate Rebecca. She's just so damn annoying. Anyway, with all that done, next time on Let's Play Wild Arms 5, we'll continue climbing up this tower and take on Elvis himself. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.